Yo guys, what is going on? Tim here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. We're so icy, wonder why she like me, bitch. I'm drowning in water. I just bought a Cuban, dipped it in a fountain. So, in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make better designs using CCs, which is color corrections. Basically, just making your designs um, just pop out a lot more in just a few easy, simple steps. If you guys don't know what color corrections are today, I'll be showing you guys just a vital thing you need to do um, just to make your designs look a lot better. Just bring everything together. Um, just yeah, it's really, really good to use these CCs. Um, and yeah, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button down below. If you break a hundred likes. That would be amazing guys subscribe if you are new and yeah Let me know what video you'd like to see from me next in the comments down below I'm always reading it as you know and yeah with that all being said Let's get right into it right guys. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just open up a design um, I'm just gonna probably use like a fortnite image so Yeah, I'm just gonna open up a fortnite pack if I can find it here. It is this is actually a visual arts pack I've used it in the last couple of videos um, What's gone on here? I must have saved it whilst I've been editing it. Um, so I'm just going to choose a wallpaper and then, yeah. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click the wallpaper just to, as an example, convert to smart objects, and I'm just going to double click on the layer. Okay, so now. As you can see, this is a Fortnite wallpaper and I'm going to make it look a lot better using colour corrections. So the colour corrections you can get at the bottom, which is this little tab here, which is like the half circle. And then you've got all these different options, but if you, um, if you want, you can go over to Window, then go to Adjustments, and then it should pop up. Um, sometimes it will just pop, pop up here and you can just drag it in. And it's just a lot easier, you can just see it all right there. Um, so the first thing I like to do when I'm, I'm adding some colour corrections is go to brightness and contrast. And it all depends on like what photo or what image you're using. Um, but for this, I'll, I'll probably bring the brightness down a bit and the contrast up. I don't want it to be too bright, but I want the col colours to pop a bit more. Like so. So I'm going to bring the contrast up. And then colour curves I like to add and I like to bring this up which increases the brightness and then bring this down and that's like the contrast so yeah um, once I've done that I like to go over to exposure and then exposure just brightens it up a bit offset I like to add, bring that up a little bit as well not too much because if it goes too much then it will just go really really white so I just like to bring it up a little bit and then cancel it back out by bringing up the gamma correction which actually just makes it darker so I like to bring that up a little bit so if I just group all that together right now that's what it looks like it looks really it looks a lot better as you can see that was what it was like, like before and then after it's that so it basically just makes everything pop out a bit more it looks a bit more vibrant and if you want to increase the vibrant vibrance of the colors then you can just actually go over, over to that um, little tab and bring it up and it makes the colours pop out a lot more. So if you're making like a Fortnite um, thumbnail then increasing the vib vibrance is really good because it is a colourful game so you want then colours to pop out and then I'm going to bring that into that group like so and then I'm going to bring that below everything else. And then what I like to do is go over to colour balance. Now it all depends, like I said, on what image you are actually using. So for this, it's more red. There's a lot of green in there. Um, so I'm going to make it more ready orange, like so. So it kind of makes it all a similar colour rather than a load of different colours, which is what you want. So yeah, that's a colour question, it's just rather than having it all different colours, you can make it all a similar colour which is just what I like to do and now I've made it more orange and I'm going to bring it below the group so all the colour corrections are on top of this colour. So if I group all that together now, holding shift, click on that, control G to group, 
that's what it looks like now. It looks a lot better. And on top of that, you can do other things, um, like add shadows and stuff to make your images look a lot better. So say, if you want, you can do something like that and add a shadow around the outside because this is the thing you're kind of focusing on right here. And then bring that below the color corrections and bring down the opacity. And yeah, that is pretty much how to use color corrections. You can do other things like add a photo filter, which again, changes the image so it's based around one color. So orange is probably the best option here. And yeah, it's very subtle. If I just zoom in, hide it, you probably won't be able to see a difference, but it kind of just blends everything together, makes it all a similar color rather than just a load of random ones. You can also add um, a gradient map, which is here, a gradient map. Um, maybe you want to do something like this, and you can just make it all a similar color, like red and black. And if you scroll through the layer styles, you can change that as well. This is uh, another good thing to add. Maybe you want to make a gaming wallpaper, change it to pin light or something like that. Then bringing it below the color corrections, that would be a decent wallpaper. Um, but yeah, I might make another video on that. But yeah, that's how you make some really, really nice CCs and make your designs look a lot better. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button down below. If you want to see more tutorials like this on Photoshop, then let me know in the comments below. I'm always reading, uh, reading them, as you know. Uh, subscribe if you are new. And yeah, with that all being said, I hope you've all had a sick day today. I'll see you in the next video.